Today we're reading Paw Elementary, Astoria Learns to Swim by Katie Milko, illustrated by Roxana Osloko. Astoria and her twin brother Jax were walking through their neighborhood when they ran into Roxy and Noelle playing on the swings. Hi, Astoria and Jax said. Noelle couldn't wait to share her news with them. She jumped off the swing and ran up to Astoria and Jax. I'm having a summer pool party. I hope you can come, Noelle said excitedly. Astoria and Jax looked down at their paws. Oh no, said Noelle. Do you guys know how to swim? Roxy said quickly, don't worry. I don't know how to swim either. My mama is taking me to Aqua Pups. That's where my brother Mason learned how to swim too. Astoria went home and told her parents about the party. Her mama immediately called Aqua Pups to sign her and Jax up. That evening, mama got out their swim gear and researched ways to introduce her children to swimming. Astoria and Jax put on their bathing suits and played in the tub. Astoria whispered to Jax, this is so fun and mama's letting us play extra long. She giggled as Jax used her knee as a ramp for his boat. Astoria and Jax woke up early and put on their gear. They were in the kitchen ready to go before mama even made her coffee. We are so excited, they exclaimed to Mama and Papa. In the car, Mama reminded them to listen to their swim instructor and that she would be right there on the side of the pool to cheer them on. As they walked into Club Aqua Pups, Astoria said, What is that funny smell? That's chlorine. It helps keep the pools clean, Mama explained. When they got to the front desk, the receptionist, Buster, greeted them. Buster gave them a tour of the club and showed them the locker room where they could get changed. Astoria got changed, but she found herself feeling scared of the big pool of water. What if I can't swim? What if I can't get out? She thought worried. Mama could see in their faces that Astoria and Jax were nervous. She offered them her paws to hold, and the three of them walked out to the pool together. Charlie and Dakota, the swim instructors, introduced themselves and the lifeguards, Max and Lexi. Lifeguards watch swimmers in the pool very carefully to help keep them safe, Charlie explained. Astoria's eyes grew big trying to take everything in. Astoria walked down the stairs into the pool. She took two steps in and then walked back out. Dakota came and offered Astoria her paw. How about we do it together? I promise I won't let go. Astoria nodded nervously, grabbing Dakota's paw. Soon, Astoria was in the water up to her waist. Dakota looked at Astoria and said, try to have courage and stay focused on me. Dakota had Astoria hold the second step with her paws, place her face in the water and practice kicking. Remember, try to keep your legs straight when kicking. Then she showed Astoria how to practice arm strokes while sitting on the stairs. Dakota guided Astoria
learning to swim, always hold on to the side of the pool and have the swim instructor help you keep your head above water. That afternoon, Mama and Papa set up a sprinkler and had a barbecue so Astoria and Jax could get another form of water exposure to help them feel more comfortable. Papa also stopped at the library to get children's books about swimming to read at bedtime. At her next swim lesson, Astoria got a swimmer's cap and goggles to wear and learned how to make bubbles with her mouth. It was a little scary, but Dakota was right there with her. Dakota held Astoria's paws and guided her back and forth across the pool while she kicked, and then held on to Astoria's waist with only one arm so she could try the arm and kicking motion together. By the end of the lesson, Astoria felt more confident in the water and was able to float better. Tomorrow, she would continue to learn and practice her swimming skills. Jax was doing great and really enjoyed swimming with Charlie. Mama and Papa took a CPR course too to learn how to keep everyone very safe while swimming. Meryl and Mercy were the CPR instructors for the parents class. Today was group swim day and Roxy, Brandy, and Luna joined Astoria and Jax. Other swim classes joined them too. It was fun to see everyone. Dakota reminded the parents, sometimes children feel nervous about the water and learning to swim, but when they know how to swim and stay safe in and around the water, they'll feel confident and won't be scared and they will have fun Mama and Papa stood next to the other parents and waved at the kids, giving encouraging smiles. Astoria and Jax took lessons every day for two weeks. They only had a few more lessons left before graduating from the beginner swim class at Club Aqua Pups. Astoria and her family walked to Noelle's house she was so excited to see all her friends in the pool there, swimming together. The party was so much fun. Astoria remembered all the rules, played safely, and was proud of her courage. She couldn't wait to go back to Aqua Pups to tell Dakota. The end. Thank you so much for joining us for Astoria Learns to Swim. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. You can pick up a copy in the link below to read along with us next time. Until then, sweet dreams.